Hello everyone, my name is Lucy from Stories by Lucy. Today I'm bringing a beautiful story and a funny one, uh, written by Adam T. Newman and illustrated by Susan G. Young. How to catch a cold. How to catch a cold. That's weird. The school bell rings. I run to my chair. I turn to my friend Brian. But he isn't there. Maybe as he walked to school, he fell into a hole where he's been held captive by an angry old mole. Hmm. That was Monday. On Tuesday, when the school bell rang, I hurried to my seat. I noticed Brian was still missing, and now so was Pete. What could have happened? This is very, very odd. Was Pete fished out of bed by a boy fishing cart? On Wednesday, Jen and Jacob were out, and so was Philip. Did a witch poison them with an apple that made them all sleep? I can't take it anymore! Miss Rose! Miss Rose! Miss Rose! I cry. My friends are all missing and I don't know why. They're not school and I'm concerned. Have you called the police? What have you learned? With a sweet, calming voice, Mrs. Rose smiled and said, No one is being held captive or was fished out of bed. I spoke to their parents and I was told our friends are not missing. They just caught a call. What? They caught a cold? How do you catch a cold? Does it have one eye or three? It's a cold taller or shorter or faster than me. Where do cold leaves? Where do they hide? Do they dwell inside cookie jars or on, or on top of a trash can outside? After school, I ran home. Didn't even stop for a snack. I just finished my homework and prepared my attack to catch a butterfly you use a net to catch a baseball you wear a mitt I'll pack an umbrella in case colds like to spit I'll take three jars of honey and 20 rolls of clear tape I'll strap lint rollers to my hips and wear a five paper cape Let's go catch a cold! I went outside to catch a cold. I searched up in a tree. I saw something moving on a leaf, but it was just a buzzing bee. I held out my baseball mitt and looked up in the sky, just as a bird flew overhead and pooped in my eye. They say that's good luck. I moved my search inside my house. I look behind the drapes. I said, really bold, I got you cold. But it was only a few old drapes. Or maybe mm, there are raisins. In case coals were invisible, I splattered honey in the air. I even used my lint rollers to search through my dog's hair. Mm, but no coals were found there. I just can't seem to catch a coal. I need a plant that's new. I have an idea. Uh, 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 achoo! For dinner, mommy made me a yummy grilled cheese. 
But every time I took a bite, I let out a big sneeze. I hope you are not catching a cold. Mommy looked at me and said, How did she know what I was doing? Was it breathing on my head? By Dozy Stuffy, I told her, My words all sound funny. I called my mom, Mom, and my nose was very runny. What was going on, on with me? I seemed to have some issues. Forget to trying to catch a cold. I'd rather find some tissues. I plop my head up in my bed. I was so tired and beat. I guess I'm not catching a cold today. And I accepted my defeat. Good night, cold wherever you are. I wake up the next morning with a billion boogers galore. My nose was super stuffy and my throat was really sore. I had a raspy voice which made me sound old. You're staying home from school, mom said. You caught a cold. What? I caught a cold? Now, if I could all remember where I put it. D and Hopefully you enjoy this lovely story, a very funny one, written by um, Adam G. Newman. Don't forget to subscribe on my channel and thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Love you all. Mwah.